risk of collision. Every vessel shall use all available means appropriate to the prevailing circumstances and conditions, underlined, highlighted, to determine if risk of collision exists. If there is any doubt, such risk shall be deemed to exist. Blah, 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 blah. And it goes on and on, and it gets down to paragraph I. Such risk shall be deemed to exist if the compass bearing of an approaching vessel does not appreciably change. Hi, it's Jim's little boat. I'm Jim, and those that's rule seven, avoiding collision at sea. And my wife has never found it very comforting. She's always quite worried that we're gonna hit a boat. You see that one a quarter mile away over there? How about that one that's three miles away? Are you sure we're not gonna hit it? And things got a little better when I showed her how to take a relative bearing. She doesn't like the boat anyway. But other folks seem to be calmed down when I teach them how to use your thumb to take a relative bearing. So if conditions are right today, we'll go out and try that on the water. I tried to illustrate this video out on the water, but I don't have the right camera, and I didn't have a cooperative boat, and I didn't have any support crew. So I think it'll be more clear if we just do it here on the tabletop. This, as you might have guessed, is your thumb. You're in your boat, and you're gonna hold it up to take a relative bearing. And this is the oncoming vessel that would like to cut you in half, and then We'll take these little guys and we'll move them around on the tabletop and illustrate the notion of a relative bearing. Will we collide or not? We'll get down here with a nice little viewpoint and we'll try some different things and we'll see how you can take a relative bearing with your thumb and determine whether or not you're about to collide with that great big ship. So we hold our thumb up and we line it up with the oncoming vessel, in this case a great big ship that could cut us in half and we take a relative bearing on the ship. And if we keep moving and the bearing doesn't change at all, we're gonna crash, not good. If on the other hand, we're holding our thumb up and we're lined up on that oncoming ship and the bearing changes, in other words, the ship doesn't match our thumb, we know that guy's gonna pass to port. Let's do it again. If we hold our thumb up and the bearing changes like this, we know that ship's gonna pass to starboard and all is good. Well, I have to say, using your thumb to take a relative bearing is not a very sophisticated navigational technique, but it's effective and it's quick. And uh, we don't want our crew to get too comfortable about the, the risk of collision. On the other hand, if they do stick out their thumb and take a bearing, uh, maybe we'll reduce some of the anxiety about other boats in the area. Thanks for watching.